Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about the Phillips curve and the sacrifice ratio. In this video we're going to examine something called the sacrifice ratio. So sacrifice ratio here and this is the ratio that authorities need to look at when they are trying to pursue contractionary monetary policy and stabilize inflation in the economy. So we're going to look at the model of a Phillips curve where we have a long run Phillips curve and some short run Phillips curves in here as well. So we'll start off with our vertical long run Phillips curve. So we have long run Phillips curve here, which is a vertical line showing no trade-off between inflation and unemployment in the long run. We are going to start off here at point A, and at point A we have a certain inflation rate in the economy, let's call that inflation 1, which is relatively high, and monetary authorities want to reduce this inflation rate if possible. So what they could implement is something called contractionary monetary policy. So with contractionary monetary policy, what this would entail is reducing the money supply and this would be monetary authorities maybe increasing interest rates in the economy. Uh, they would be selling government bonds in terms of open market operations. So these would be contractionary monetary policies. In this case, what would happen is we would move down along a short run Phillips curve. So I will draw this in uh, at point A where we have a short run Phillips curve, which is downward sloping, showing a trade off between unemployment and inflation in the short run. So what we will say here is contractionary monetary policy will tend to increase the unemployment level in a country because contractionary monetary policy, the interest rate going up, what it tends to do is reduce things like investment in the economy and consumption. And when these are reduced, this will tend to reduce aggregate demand in the economy. And when aggregate demand in, uh, reduces, this tends to reduce GDP. And if output in the economy is falling, firms tend to uh, get rid of workers to reduce their labor force. And what happens here is the unemployment rate increases. So the trade-off starts at A, reduces down to B in our case here, and at B, the contractionary monetary policy has increased the unemployment rate from UT here to UT1 at a higher level. But we can also see it has reduced inflation as well. So what we would tend to find is when the economy reduces down to point B after contractionary monetary policy, over time, as people come to understand that prices are rising more slowly, the expected inflation level falls. And this means that the short run Phillips curve tends to fall as well or shift leftwards. So when the expectations drop, so too does the Phillips curve in the short run and we get a second short run Phillips curve here. So Phillips curve one and short run Phillips curve two. And at this point C here, what we have is the economy back to an unemployment level that is relatively low and an inflation, rev uh, inflation level that has reduced in this case. The only problem is from A to B is a sacrifice and the sacrifice here, A to B, is a sacrifice. The sacrifice here is that the monetary authorities will have to sacrifice an increase in unemployment in the short run so that inflation expectations are revised in the long run and inflation can fall down. Now, this sacrifice ratio depends on the size 
uh, and the slope of the Phillips curve and how quickly expectations of inflation adjust. If they take a long time, well, then there's an awful lot of unemployment that has to be sacrificed in this case here. So when studies have been carried out to find out what the actual sacrifice ratio is, what they've shown is that the sacrifice ratio can be worked out with a formula. So the ratio is the number of percentage points of annual output lost in the process of reducing inflation by one percentage point. And this is given by the following. So the sacrifice ratio is equal to the euro cost, so euro cost of production, euro cost of production lost all over the percentage change change in the inflation rate. So the sacrifice ratio is the euro lost of production, the euro cost of production lost all over the percentage change in inflation. And when this has been worked out, a typical estimate of it is around three to five. So what would that actually mean? Well, if it's between three and five, what that means is for each percentage point that inflation is reduced, get it down, what this means is there's three to five percent of annual output must be sacrificed. So to get it down by one percentage point, so just one percentage over here, generally unemployment has to increase by three to five percent. That's what most empirical studies would show. And for Ireland, it is greater than that again. For Ireland, the case is it's up at uh, the upper amount, five or six percentage points. I hope you call back to Cultnomics soon. Bye for now.